Did you know you could track your shoes using Garmin Connect with your Garmin Instinct or any other Garmin sports watch? Here's how to set it up. This is probably not a new feature, but it was new to me and it might be new to you. I wanted to figure out how many miles I actually put on my Ultra Lone Peak Trail Runners. They were showing some wear and I just wanted to know how much I used them this summer and how they compared to other trail runners that I've used in the past. So I did some Googling and found out that I can do it automatically using my Garmin Instinct and the Garmin Connect website or app. You can use this feature to track just about any type of gear. So runners can track their running shoes, cyclists can track their bike or tires, or you can just set up custom gear. It's really easy to set up using the app or website. So I'll show you the setup on the app first. So we're gonna start by launching the Garmin Connect app. And from the main dashboard screen, we're gonna click on the more button in the bottom right. From there, we're gonna select gear and you can see it pulls up this nice dashboard with all the gear that you've already added. And below each item is a health monitor. So for example, my Lone Peak Ultras, I've used them for almost 300 miles and I have about 100 miles left. And that 400 miles is based on the max distance that I set when I set up the actual piece of gear. And you can see across the top, the gear is categorized by shoes, bikes, and other and if you have any retired gear it'll show up in that last icon that looks like an hourglass so to add a piece of gear we're just going to click the add button at the top right of our gear menu and you can see we have a bunch of different fields that we need to fill out so we're going to go to gear type and here you can select shoes bike or other i'm just going to say other and now we're going to click into the brand and we'll call this our msr snowshoes and we'll give it a nickname we'll call it snowshoes and now we're going to specify our first use and let's just say i got this for christmas of last year so we'll put it for december 25th 2021 and now we're going to specify our max distance so this is where it's going to show up in that health monitor based on usage and for snowshoes, I expect to get at least a thousand miles out of them. So we'll put a thousand there. And just a quick note, if you're finding value in this video, remember to click that like button. It really does help this video and my channel quite a bit. In this next section, we can specify which activity we want Garmin Connect to automatically add those snowshoes to. And since we added a first use date that's in the past, Garmin Connect will actually go back to those past activities and add that gear for you, which is what I did for my Lone Peaks. The only downfall to this is you're limited to the activities that are listed in this menu. If you notice in Garmin Connect, you have several activities that are built in and you can also specify custom activities, but unfortunately you can't add them to this automatically add to list. So for this piece of gear, I'm just gonna select other and I'm gonna hit save. So now we can see that our MSR snowshoes are under the other menu on our gear list. If you have custom activities or activities that you don't want Garmin to automatically add gear to, or you wanna just add gear after the fact, it's really easy. So I'm gonna go back to the more menu and I'm gonna click on activities and I'll click on all activities and I'm gonna find one that has some miles associated with it. And once you're in the activity, all you need to do is click the three dots at the top right and it'll pull up this menu and I'm just gonna add or remove gear. And you can see it has different gear associated with the activity already and the other gear that I've added. So I'm gonna actually click on those MSR snowshoes and click save. So now you can see it's added to the activity. And if I click on that, it'll take me to the gear menu. And because that's not listed as a shoe, it's listed as other, you see it now associated with one activity. And you can see that there's some miles associated with the health monitor. Adding and removing gear on the Garmin Connect website is almost identical to the Garmin Connect app. So once you're logged in, we're gonna to go to gear on the left. 
And you can see we have our trail runners, our winter boots, and if I click on other, the MSR snowshoes that we added. There's a add gear button on the right side that if we click that, you can see we have the exact same fields that we filled out on the app. So now if we go to activities, we can add and remove gear from any activity, just like we did on the app. I'll click on this hike at Franklin Gulf, and you can see that I have one piece of gear associated with this hike already. It's gonna be my ultras. And now we can just go and click and add the MSR snowshoes to that activity, and it'll go to two. And if we click on that, we can manage gear and go to our MSR snowshoes. And now we have two activities associated with that and our miles also increased. You can also click on these activities. You can do it in the app as well. And it'll show you what activities are associated with that gear. And it's a quick way to just jump to that activity to see what it was. Let me know in the comments if you think this feature is gonna be helpful to you and what gear you think you're gonna to add to Garmin Connect. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. And if you wanna see other gear reviews, how to's and outdoor adventures, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.